Hello everyone, welcome to Ningira Techies. In this video, I am going to explain system storage and local storage. So this all comes under the state management and also this video is the continuation of our last video. In my last video, I am explaining how we can use the cookies in our Angular application. Here I am going to explain system storage and local storage. What is the difference between system storage and local storage? First, let me explain the system storage. So the session storage is the most commonly using the technique for storing data in the browser. So and also we can do the retrieval, but the data will be available for the particular session only. So once you are close the browser, the data are get cleared. Okay. So if you see the syntax session storage dot set item, as I mentioned here, the data are storing in the uh, key and value pair. First you have to mention the key and then you have to provide the value. For retrieving the data, we have to use this get item. So this is all about the session storage. Now the local storage. The local storage also almost similar to the session storage. But only difference is the data will be available anytime. That means even if you are closing the browser also, the data will be available. If you are trying to force and clear the local storage or else you are clearing from the code, that time only the data gets cleared. Otherwise, the data will be available for any time. In the syntax point of view, the same, uh, you have how to remove the system storage. Instead of that, you have to provide the local storage. That's it. The set item and get item and and also we have if you want to remove the things uh, we have to use the local storage dot remove all option was there so i will explain from everything from our code then you will get some better understanding so let me go to my application in the application i am going to create one function first set session value so as i mentioned the session storage dot set time term we have to use add my key is user id uh, then my value is admin user okay now i am trying to bind this function in any of the html control for that i am going to create one button click here and after that, I'm going to bind the click event. So we have binded the function. Now we can verify from our browser itself. Now I'm clicked. And after that, let me go to the application. So in the application, we can see in the storage side, the local storage was there and also the session storage was there. So let me go to this session storage. If you see here, the user ID and value is admin user. So as I mentioned, the data are storing in the key and value pair. So the value will be there. Now we can get the values. So it's not taking much time. So get session instead of set item, I am going to use this get item. So input is just a key, that's enough. So let me add this one in the console. Now see the value was there. Okay, I missed it to create the button. So give me a minute. So get data and here also I am going to change the get session. Okay now I am comes to the console side. I am trying to click this get data. So it's retrieving the admin user. So one more thing I mentioned the system storage uh, values are available for the current session only. Once we are closed the browser the data are get cleared. So for explaining this functionality, I am going to open one more tab, not one more tab, I am opened one more window. Here I am trying to access the same URL. As of now, I am not clicked anything. If I go to the application, see, 
in the key and value there is no data but in the another one browser if you see the user ID and admin user was there even I am refreshing also the data are coming even if I am trying to open one more tab also the data will be available but in the new window it's not available that means once you are close the browser the data are not available okay now you can see the data right so this is all about the system storage and at the same time I am going to explain this uh, local storage also for that I am not going to create any new function instead of session storage I am going to change the local storage okay we have done so I am going to close one window okay it's fine now let me come to the local storage side if you see here the token and refresh token was there let me clear both the things it's previously added now I am trying to click so when I am clicked so the local storage data automatically gets updated now let me open the new window okay, here also I am using the same URL local storage at a local storage the local host 4200 if I am going to the application in the local storage if you see the user ID and admin user both are available in the session the data are not available but in the local storage data it's always available so as I mentioned even you are closing the browser also the data will be available so once if you are removing uh, if I'm trying to remove forcefully or else the code side also we can remove let me explain in the code so in the code I am going to create one more button remove for that I am going to add one function called remove I need to define also ok done local storage dot So if you see here the remove item option was there uh, if you want to remove the specific uh, ID means or else if you want to remove the data based on the key means you have to use the remove item if you want to clear the complete local storage means you have to use this clear option so now uh, actually I am trying to clear the complete local storage so if you see here in the local storage user ID was there I am trying to remove so once I'm clicked it's automatically gets removed even if I'm having uh, one more uh, what is called one more local storage also it gets cleared I'm going to have now one more local storage first I clicked so the two things are gets added if I'm clicking it's automatically gets removed so this is all about the session storage and local storage still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in my comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching